Hello, besties. So I have finally started decorating my kid court island and I am lost. What the dog doing? I'm a lost for words. I'm a lost for decorating ideas. I'm a lost for terraforming ideas. So what better way than to go check out other kid court islands? I'm gonna be checking out a couple of different kid court Animal Crossing islands to essentially see what inspiration I can take from them because I am the least creative person on this planet. Seeing how they terraform and just overall getting the kid cool vibes up and going in here. Uh, so without further ado, let's do our first dream on this island. I like how the Animal Crossing villager just sleeps like real legs poking out, like what a stance. Oh, I forgot how long this intro is gonna be and tedious. Hi, I know it's you, Luna. I've played this game multiple times. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna search by dream address. I've got dream addresses of a couple of different islands. Most of these have got full length tour videos up on YouTube. So I'll link them in the description down below to the other creators who have done the full tours. Uh, Cause this will just be my fave inspiration part tour. So if you're coming for the full, full tour, this is not the right place. <laughs> okay, let's head on over to our first island, which is an island called Kohane. I see some color, just a touch. I see a froggy, this is it. All right, well, I guess let's head to the airport. I have noticed, oh, where is said airport? This is, this is adorable so far, okay. I like, I really like this idea of the like, um, ciao, anyway, so. Cobblestone par thing with some like chalk and everything on it, it's very cute. A little bit of terraforming so far, not a lot. We've got the Able Sisters up here. I'm I'm loving the flooring for this and the color flower combination. All right, I see we're going with this bestie. Okay, we've got a cute little playground. I definitely want to have like a little sand playground. This is very cute, I think. The flower hell, I love this. <laughs> this is cute. <gasps> Yo, wait, this by the beach? That's a great idea, an absolutely great idea. Okay, we've got the laundromat. I kind of want to get one of these, but I'm not sure how I want to go about it. Over here we got another little lake. Yeah look it seems the way to go is lots of chalk carthing and stuff on the floor. Cursed zipper as well. There's like a lot of terraforming and also not a lot of terraforming at the same time. I like how they've done this. I guess this is just I feel like an island needs to be overly terraformed so it's nice to see it not being that like extreme in a way um but i definitely i want to have more intense houses i'm giving everyone like themes so far i've like for freckles i kind of want to give her a flower shop uh norm i want to give her like a cheese milk shop like you know you go get strawberry milk or go get a little cheesecake the train tracks as well are really cute i wouldn't mind having a little train station or something that's kind of a really cute idea it's actually, I really, really like that everything is like one floor. Oh yeah, these these gas things are just so iconic. They are so good to have on Kid Core Islands, I feel. They're just so colorful. A little party area. Okay, we've got a bit more terraforming up here. We've got another friend there. We've got this huge bridge. I do like this bridge idea, this terraformed bridge idea. This is very, very fancy. <gasps> I am, I am in awe. How are people so talented? Oh my god, this is amazing. What the heck? Oh, I love that. It's a little, it's a little train area. To the creator of this island, you're a genius. Okay, we've also got a little school it looks like. I do want to have a school on my island. Maybe one of my characters can have a school or we can just have a school somewhere on the island. Yo, a little soccer playground. I love this. Oh my god, I love that. That is so cool. Okay, well, needless to say, all of these people are just incredibly talented. Okay, so for their- I think I'm really struggling with an entrance idea. So for their entrance, they don't have any terraforming. Like, it's just very cute. Okay, next island. Let's go. Okay, I don't know if this is the right island. It says on the YouTube video that the island is called Daisy Isle, but this is the dream address code. So we'll see. We'll see if it's a, a Kid Core Island or not. I don't think this is it, besties. This, this does not look it. This is, this is the dream address given. Uh, maybe it used to be Kid Core and now it's not anymore. Well, this is a, this is a very cool entrance. I'm sorry, I will just say that. Um, but actually, not gonna lie. I kind of really am vibing with this entrance. That is a very cool entrance idea. I like it. Okay, well, I guess we'll head on to the next one, which is an island by the looks of Puddle, which is very cute. 
This is the one. I'm just here simply asking for a kid core island. Please give me, I see color. I see some color. Okay, it's a kid core island. This is very cute. I wonder what all the presents are. I kind of really like this yellow pathing more than I like the rainbow. I'm gonna have to find this. Okay, we've got a little bike area over here and what looks to be like a gachapon machine, but now there are actually gachapon things, so. I want to say this is kind of very muted, like not as bright kid core, but still bright at the same time. Egg, egg, egg. <laughs> this is so cute. See, this is the egg path. They use the egg path. I love it. Okay, we'll try and navigate our way. Never mind, we won't navigate our way through there. I lied. Train tracks. Okay, literally, I'm just going to keep repeating myself so that I know them. Train tracks, puddles, colorful tiles, chalk, cobblestone tiles. <laughs> Is this a froggy shrine? I, I, I give worship to froggy. This is very nifty. And the little um, lily of the valleys to prove that they have worked hard and truly succeeded. Okay, we got a little, oh, like a little change room. That's cute. I like it. Definitely not as cluttered as some of the other ones I've been to, which isn't a bad thing. It's very nice and easy to navigate. Yeah, I think the laundromat is a must have. Lots of rainbow floors. This is very neat, this uh, sort of terraforming idea. I do like this little road idea in the middle. Oh, we got a little arcade area. That's cool. And then another bridge over this way, which brings us to their fancy little house with egg. <laughs> I love this like pathing floor road idea. That is so creative. Very, very creative. I love it a lot. I'm definitely gonna have to look into doing that on my island. Definitely getting more and more ideas of like how to place things and how to decorate and what I should be doing with the space. I'm gonna check their custom paths and see if they made this chalk flooring path because that is absolutely iconic. Please, please be the creator. <laughs> they are the damn Echo Path creator. What the heck? I literally have this person favorited. Okay, well, I already have this person saved, so we can just jump on and over and save those designs. Okay, I feel like we'll go to one more island, which I feel like we all know what it is. The ultimate queen of Kidcore herself. We gotta go to Raven's Island. Okay, Froggy Crossing, for those of you who do not know. Froggy Crossing has a really amazing kid called Island called Leapfrog, and we, we gotta go there. Like, ultimate inspiration. Pretty sure Raven's done a lot more terraforming than what we've seen so far, so this could be good. Ah, uh, yes. Straight up color. Like, no questions asked. <laughs> And up we go. So for the entrance here, there's like a big river, but that's because Froggy Crossing's map is in the shape of a frog. So it makes sense. There's a little frog in the middle. I just noticed that, oh my gosh. Um, a big dookie over there. <laughs> there's lots of color and lots going on. I really want to save a bunch of the paths here. Oh no, RIP to that one corner piece. Oh, oh my god, I didn't realize Ketchup had a little pizza shop. That's adorable. That's kind of cool. This was something that they just did. And this is a really, this is very colorful and very, very cool. And then they've got a shop here, which I like. This looks to be like a school maybe. Yeah, the Kuropi school. And then of course the laundromat. This is iconic. It's mostly yellow, so I'm pretty taking a lot of inspiration. Oh, this is cool. I still really like the like car idea, but this is also cool using lots of like the Sanrio stuff. Okay, then this is the plushy shop. This is Stitches, I'm pretty sure. A little hopscotch. The parking. Oh, that is so cute. Okay. Yeah, here we go. A little, uh, what do you call it? Petrol station. This is where the petrol station could be where I'm getting my tax money from. The petrol station will be where I charge people to fill up their cars so that I can pay back Tom Nook. And with how expensive fuel is at the moment, I think I may succeed in this. I like this post office idea. I also like the boxes in it. That's smart. Hey, a little train station. And then the orange juice area. Oh my god, stop. I have never seen this before. Raven, this is genius. Oh my gosh, it's a skate park ramp thingy. I love that. <laughs> That's so smart. Oh my god. Well, I think we have sufficiently gotten a lot of ideas for decorating our island. Oh, the squishmallow stuff is all Raven. Oh, I love that. Okay, well, I guess it's time to go back home and try and fix my mess of a kid core island. <laughs> Well, anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe. I am going to sit for a few hours and plan out how to decorate my island. So maybe when you next see this place might be a bit different. Uh, who knows? 
If you do want to catch more of our Ikigai Islands, you can do so over on Twitch. I stream every currently Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. That schedule may change as it used to be on Fridays, but all the information is down below if you want to come and join us over there while we do some decorating and speed running and villager hunting and all the sort of fun things. Uh, but yeah, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Bye, everybody.